So one of the things that we can work with in Java is pr something called a primitive data type, a primitive data type. And we've learned about these. These are my ints, these are my doubles, these are floats, booleans, char data types. We've got all these different data types. But one of the things that we talk about is how everything in Java kind of eventually becomes an object. Well, we can do the same thing with our primitive data types. We can take this integer or this double or boolean or char and we can actually create what is known as a wrapper class. It's a primitive wrapper class and what this allows for me to do is now take this idea of a primitive data type, something that has very little ones and zeros. So 65, say I made an integer int x equals 65. Again, uh, that's a very small, you know, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Not a lot to that. What I can do all of a sudden is I can say, well, actually, let's let's say that this is a, a class integer that Java already has built in its uh, standard library, standard library. We go through the same process. We now say, oh, well, it needs a constructor, and we need to give it a parameter. Constructor. And again, we have this for every single one of our primitive data types. You can see I have, again, with my double. And why we would want to do this is, well, there are a lot of things associated with, say, an integer. Uh, let's say, for example, I want to know the maximum value. You know, that's something in my code I need to make sure of because I don't want to do a buffer overflow. So I need to cap off at, you know, 2.1 billion. You know, that's kind of important. Well, guess what? We have an integer dot max value constant. Remember, that's what it means, constant. I can't change this value. It's 2.1 billion, et cetera. Can't change it, but I know it now, and I can actually specify that. I can also do some parsing. I can actually say that there is an integer, and I want to know, you know what the value of a string is. I can I want to convert this string string into an integer. So I'm doing uh, integer parsing. This is sort of no different than me saying int uh, 3.14. The difference is now we're dealing with a string. And so one of the things we can do is also we can kind of mix them up. So you can see that not only can I do you know the simple, the easy, what we've already done uh, in life, which is int x equals 50. You know we've done that in the past. All right, that's perfectly fine. We can do suddenly you know the same kind of thing. We can make a double, but we can actually do simple math with it. So all of a sudden this is okay mm. uh, because this gets inferred as a double. It's inferred as a double primitive data type and Java goes oh well hey you're interacting with your wrapper class so I'm gonna turn you from lowercase d to an uppercase d I'm turning you from a primitive data type into oh, the class version and so again you can see we can do that we can make an array of integer the wrapper type and we can come in here and just say one two three uh, and this is no different than me saying integer z equals new integer 1, new integer 2, new integer, mm, that's a terrible 3, 3.